I call um, Rahui Katami. Yeah. I am so proud to stand today as a daughter of Ngāti Apa, Ngāti Kuia, Ngāti Kōata, <laughs> Ngāti Toa, Te Ati Awa, Ngāti Rārua, te, um, Rangitāne and, no, not Ngāpui, thank you, <laughs> and Ngāti Rārua, um, sorry, of, of all eight iwi of Te Tauihu. I am so proud to stand to speak on the preamble of this very significant piece of legislation. And I cannot help but be taken back to 1997 to think of the courage and the vision of all eight iwi from the top of the south, from Te Tauihu, who went before the Māori Land Court to seek clarification that the foreshore and seabed within the Marlborough Sounds is Māori customary land as defined in the Act. And I remember the historic ruling by Judge Heta Hankston that the Māori Land Court does have jurisdiction to consider whether foreshore and seabed is Māori customary land. And today we are proud to have come full circle. It is a history which has taken many dramatic turns. Following Judge Hingston's ruling, the decision was appealed to the Māori Appellate Court by the Crown and certain other parties. And as the preamble makes clear, in June 2003, another twist appeared when the Court of Appeal held that the Māori Land Court did indeed have jurisdiction to determine claims of customary ownership. Enter stage left the Labour Party, led by Margaret Wilson and Helen Clark, as they moved in rapid fashion to thrust the 2004 Forshaw and Seabed Act on the nation. We totally endorsed the opening comments in the preamble, which established the history we all know of the 2004 Act, the com condemnation of the Waitangi Tribunal, the United Nations Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination, and the special visit to, of the United Nations Special Rapporteur Rodolfo St Stevenhagen. The 2004 Act removed the long-held common law right of Māori to seek customary title in the High Court. The 2004 Act extinguished customary title. No whānau, hapu or iwi could seek customary title. The 2004 Act did not make prov provision for traditional practices or recognise the evolving nature of customary rights. The findings from the Committee on the Elimination of Racial Discrimination that the legislation contained discriminatory aspects against the Māori, in particular in its extinguishment of the possibility of establishing Māori customary title over the foreshore and seabed, was an indictment on the Labour government and has provided a key source of concern right. for Tangata Whenua for seven long years. And so today we welcome a new approach an approach which takes account of the intrinsic, inherited rights of iwi, hapo, hapu and whānau, derived in accordance with tikanga and based on their connections with the foreshore and seabed and on the principle of manaakitanga. This key statement in par paragraph 4 of the preamble says so much, and it bears some further explanation. The 2004 Act did not incorporate tikanga in its tests. This Takutai Moana Bill incorporates tikanga as a key element in the test for customary title and allows for differences in tikanga from group to group. The 2004 Act extinguished customary title. No whānau, hapu or iwi could seek customary title. The Bill restores the ability for customary title to be recognised and in a way which honours the intrinsic inherited rights of iwi, hapu and whānau. I want to also draw attention to the concept of manaakitanga, which the Māori Party is very proud of introducing in this bill. The inclusion of manaakitanga as an example of tikanga, which this bill is most concerned with extending protection to, is a very significant achievement of this bill. The only other legislation in which the concept of manaakitanga features is in, is in the CNI Settlement Act of 2008, the Central North Island's Forest Lands Collective Settlement Act, and the Waikato Tainui Raupatu Claims Waikato River Settlement Act of 2010. So we are pleased with the important progress that has been achieved with this legislation, and in particular at this part, the preamble, which recognises and provides for the interests of Fano, Hapu, and Iwi, and which gives credence to the principles of Manaakitanga. 
But it must do more. It recognises that it does do more. It recognises the manu tuku iho, Mr Chair. Thank you. Of Fano in relation to the Takutai Moana. It recognises the right to participate in conservation processes. It provides greater certainty for iwi, hapu and Fano. The bill restores the ability of Māori to seek customary property rights in the High Court. And most important of all, it honours the agreement we have made with our people to repeal the 2004 Act. This bill is in the House on our initiative. Make no bones about it. This is a Māori Party bill. We have delivered on our word to our members and we are pleased to stand here in support.